with us. And I also think there's a big need to change the image of the city. A lot of people have looked down on us. We are a good group of people. If you saw the group of people that are here tonight, these are average, everyday, hardworking, God-fearing people. We are a fine group of people, and we need to develop that respect back that we so rightly deserve. I was sort of tired of North Charleston being looked down at. I felt that we needed somebody in charge that could unite people together and try to work to bring all people together no matter what gender, no matter what color, what nationality, those people who lived in the North area, not just North Charleston, needed to come together if we were going to advance and grow and become the city that we possibly could. If you want things to be right and change, you have to be involved. You can't just sit back and complain. If you want to make change, you've got to get engaged. You've got to get involved. And that's what I started doing. I don't regret one minute of it. I have totally enjoyed my years of public service. It has enriched my life because I have met some of the most fantastic people. I've had a wonderful life based purely upon how I was brought up, my parents, how my wife has supported me and worked with me, how my children have honored me, and how my community has let me share my vision with them. I couldn't ask for any more. It's been a wonderful uh, role of, of moving forward. I hope I have many more years of service to volunteer and offer, or I'm not going to sit around. I'm going to still find something to do. And that I'm able to have more time with my grandkids, more time with my family as a whole, reunite with some friends that I haven't had an opportunity to share a lot of time with in the last 29 years. But overall, I do believe that I have left it better than I found it. And that's been my goal. And so I haven't accomplished everything I've wanted, but I've accomplished more than I probably thought I could. And like most people, I look forward to the day that my wife and I can spend more time together and, and do things together. I want to thank uh, all the people of the city of North Charleston, those that have supported me, those that haven't, to those that have gone on that aren't here anymore, who cared enough about the city to keep pushing forward. To those that are here now that aren't satisfied where we are today, shouldn't be. We need to always be trying to advance. So I just want to say, work hard, support your leadership, support your family, and let's continue to make North Charleston, this wonderful city, the greatest place to live, work, and play. Thank you.